What's up Hoopers, it's Coach Alex from Think Pro Basketball and in today's video we are going to go over how to score more points in the game of basketball without being selfish. Let's get started. Alright guys, well we're going to go over a few talking points and tips to help you think about things that you can do by scoring the basketball but not being selfish at the same time because a lot of players, especially young players, may think that they have to have the ball and do everything to score the basketball and to help their team but they don't know that it's hurting them, taking bad shots, just shooting the basketball just to shoot it rather than getting good quality shots to help your team be successful. Alright, so let's get right into this video and the first one that I'm going to talk about is moving without the ball. All right. Yes, you have to have the ball to obviously score, but what are you doing to prepare yourself before you get the basketball? What are you doing to help yourself create an advantage or an opportunity to score the ball with even, without even having the ball in your hands? So when I'm talking about moving without the ball, I'm just going to put it here, and I'm going to say that my, my teammate is over here. They've got the ball. What am I doing to work for it? Right? Because a lot of the times, players that don't want to do anything will just stand, and then when that ball comes, then they'll just fire one up and say, that's a good shot, whatever. But a good player and a great player will do different. They'll move, they'll go set a screen for somebody, and then maybe off of that screen, you might be able to slip one and get an easy bucket, right? Or you might just cut without the basketball. Maybe you're continuing running the offense where you run a back door cut, all right? You're going all the way through. I'm getting over here to this corner. Boom, now I'm waiting for this guy to cut through, then I can come up and get a shot. But I'm working before I even get the basketball. I'm doing the most necessary steps in order to create that opportunity for me. Because if I continue to move, now my man has to work even harder and they may get lazy. They may have a little quick little second on defense where they just rest and that's my time to get my shot ready and get my shot up, right? But what are you doing in order to create these opportunities? And moving the basketball shows that you're working, right? Because a selfish player Player just does this the ball's there and a selfish player will just stand here and say pass 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 catch it shoot it bad shot a great player will make a screen oh let me go screen for somebody oh I'll cut oh I don't get it okay that's fine let me run out here let me run out here okay you cut now I'm coming up to catch the ball and to get my shot that's what a great player is gonna do they'll move without the basketball create an opportunity for somebody else go cut through, continue to run the office, offense, and then when the ball comes in, they're wide open, now they have created a great shot for themselves and that they work for. And your teammates see you working for that. Oh, Jimmy's over there, he's working his tail off, he's running, he's cutting hard, he's making the right play, he's doing things to get other players you know, open with setting screens and cutting and moving, right? That's what you have to do. Moving without the ball is a great way to show that you're unselfish in creating opportunities for yourself. That's the first step of getting your shots and becoming a better player and not being selfish when you don't have the basketball when you're trying to score more points. All right, guys, now let's move on to the next talking point. We're gonna talk about making extra passes. Again, you're looking at me like, coach, I'm making a pass, how am I gonna score? Well, if you're making the extra pass to somebody, don't you think your teammate's gonna be like, oh yeah, he made me the extra pass or she made me the extra pass, maybe I'll hit one for them. So what I mean by this is pass up, a, this is what I was taught pass up a good shot to get a great shot. So if, you're, if you've got a shot here, but you know that this player is closing out on you, and you know if you can catch and make one more extra pass, because that player is open, do you think this is a good shot or a great shot, or do you think that's the great shot, right? So if I'm getting the ball here and a defender's closing out on me, right, and I can still get it, like this is gonna be a good shot for me, or should I catch and make one more quick pass to the player that's wide open that has a great shot? Because if you make these extra passes, you're making your teammates feel good, right? You're getting them involved. You, uh, I don't have, I got a good shot, but I can get my teammate an even better look. So the next time it comes around, it's gonna come right back. They say karma, right? This is good karma. So the next time that player gets the pass and they got a good shot, but you're wide open, they're gonna swing you the ball. So being unselfish is nothing wrong with it. Right, because a lot of young players are just so caught up in scoring the basketball and trying to shoot every time they get it, rather than doing everything else that helps the team, right? Like we talked about moving without the basketball, making extra passes to your teammates so they can return the favor later on or even the next possession. 
right? Things like this, your teammates will recognize this, your coaches will recognize, maybe they'll start running plays for you. Like, okay, coach, Alex is doing, Alex is making some great extra passes. Let's run a play for him so he can get a shot. Things like that, that you don't even think about, guarantee you you don't think about. You gotta start being able to think about things like that because it's important. It's the small details that make the biggest difference. And making extra passes is just one slice of the pie to help you become a better, unselfish player and try to score more points. So make that extra pass so your teammate makes one to you so you can get the great shot. All right, guys, well, like I said before, this video is all about ways to not seem selfish on the basketball court. And this next topic is all about getting your teammates involved. And we just talked about making the extra pass, getting the great shot rather than the good shot. So if you're getting your teammates involved, that's mean you're making passes ahead when you're in transition. You see a player that's got it going and they're hot, give them the ball, keep them going. Right, so when, when you're the hot man on the court or the hot girl on the court and you're getting shots up and you're making them over and over, then your teammates are gonna wanna get you to basketball. So if you can continue to get your teammates involved and do the right things and make the right plays to make them successful and put them in the right positions to score points, that's being unselfish. That's what it's like. It doesn't matter if you're a point guard, a big man, a wing player, your job is to, you got four other players out there on the court what can you do to help them? What can you do to make them better? Because if you make them better, it makes you better, which ultimately, ultimately makes the team better. So we're trying to be unselfish, right? We're trying to be unselfish, make the right play. So you get your teammates involved, get them going. They're gonna wanna get you going. Oh, Alex made me a pass earlier, so I can get an easy one. Oh, he's wide open in the corner. Why don't I make him a, a nice, easy pass so he can get a good shot, right? It's things like that that you have to think about and how important that is to get your teammates involved because if you guys are all together and on the same page and doing the right things, it's gonna make life so much easier on the basketball court. And not being selfish is very important. If you're an unselfish basketball player, great things will come for you. If you can continue to do the things that we've talked about so far in this video, you'll be just fine. Moving without the basketball, making extra passes, getting your teammates involved, everything is gonna come back and be great for you. You'll be the unselfish player that gets the opportunities when they come to you. All right, Hoopers, the last point that I'm gonna give you to make you an unselfish basketball player to ultimately lead to you scoring more points is to play defense, right? You play defense, you stop your man, you get a steal, you get out, you score easy baskets, you look great. You get, you get a deflection, you get your teammate a steal, they pass it ahead of you, right? But if you're out there and you're playing defense and you're working hard and you're making life hard on your opponent, that's great. Coaches love to see that. Your teammates see that, it's gonna be contagious. They'll start doing it. Now it's gonna lead to easy points, easy baskets, and opportunities for you to score, right? So play defense, right? If you're, if you're playing defense, that's not a selfish move. That's unselfish. That means you're putting the team before everything else. You wanna get stops. You wanna make the plays to help your team and be successful. Okay, so playing defense is the fourth thing that I'm gonna give you. Other than that, the three previous things, right? Moving without the basketball, making the extra pass instead of a good shot, we want great shots. Getting your teammates involved, keeping them involved. If they got somebody that's going, making a lot of shots, continue to feed them. So when you're hot and you got it going, they'll feed you. And number four, just play defense. As simple as that. Get steals. If you're trying to get easy baskets, if you want to score more points without being selfish, play defense, get those steals, make life hard on your opponents so you get easy baskets. Other than that, that's all I got for you today. That's four helpful tips to help you become a better unselfish player and to help you score more points. All right, Hoopers, well, that's it for today's video all about being unselfish or less selfish when trying to score more points. Now, if you liked it, click the like button, leave a comment, let us know what you think. Most importantly, click the subscribe button and join Think Pro Basketball. All the great content that we have on our channel is designed to help you improve your game. So if you want, get your butt over there and join us. But you should. Click the subscribe button. I'll see you over there. Now, until I see you again next time, hit the gym, hit the court, put the work in, and remember to always keep hooping.